Have you ever wondered what happened to all the leftover food that doesn't sell at the grocery store? It doesn't go to waste thanks to a remarkable program put on by the Central New York Food Bank. Megan has more in her special report tonight. Megan. Well, Matt, you've probably come across fruits or vegetables with bumps or bruises at the grocery store, and perhaps you've passed them up. Well, tonight we track down those items to find out what happens to them and how they're helping to stamp out hunger in our community. Box by box. Crate after crate, stuffed with some of the healthiest foods you can eat. Fresh fruits and vegetables are unpacked, unloaded, and set out on display. It's an incredible operation inside St. Joseph's Church in Liverpool, one of 19 sites across central and northern New York, where once a month, the food bank puts on its fresh food distribution. I love to see the faces, the, the smile on their faces, because there, some people are so appreciative, they thank you and thank you. Bernadette Capling volunteers here every month, helping to distribute fresh food to people who need it most. They're some of the most expensive items at the supermarket. Fresh strawberries, pineapple, salad, tomatoes, milk, and juice. And it doesn't stop there. There are prepackaged snacks, piles of fresh breads and baked goods, all donated by local grocery stores and given to help feed people across central New York. There's people who have children, people who have retired that are not unable to really subsidize or really get fresh fruits and vegetables for themselves and their meals. So it's nice to be able to have this available to them. Jennifer Woodburn heads up this remarkable team here at the church. The Fresh Foods Program salvages food that would otherwise be thrown out. Oftentimes they're past their best if used by dates, but are perfectly safe to eat. Really mean that they're bad. It just means that the store can't sell them any longer at that point. So they're still good. They're fresh. Take, for example, a green pepper with a ding in it or an apple with a bruise. Fresh produce that may be overlooked by you at the grocery store. Those items that don't sell come here to serve people who otherwise can't afford them. Strawberries and blueberries and things that you know that your children will really enjoy, but you aren't going to get them for them because you can't afford it. The food is available to anyone who needs it. There's no fee or requirement to receive it and for those who walk away with a carton full of fresh food they would otherwise go without nothing says gratitude like the look on their faces when they walk away I love the ones that go by and they say thank you so much thank you so much it really makes you feel good and when the children look at you with these grapey guys and you hand them an orange they're like oh wow it's really a nice feeling to know that Oh, isn't it just remarkable? Oh, I mean, I was so amazed it. when I walked in and saw this whole thing unfolding. Yeah, you always wonder, where does all that extra food go? Now we know, to a good place. Yeah, tomorrow night we're going to introduce you to a Syracuse University professor who offers a unique perspective on the hunger problem. Three specific ways she says you can help solve this problem. You know, sometimes it sort of seems overwhelming. I mean, what can I do as an individual? It's right. such a massive problem. Yeah, one step at a time. There are things that you can do. And after our tremendous success last year, we're teaming up with Tara Kai and CX Tech for another telethon to benefit the food. Bank of Central New York. The Let's Beat Hunger Telethon will be held on Thursday from 5 a.m. until 7 p.m. right here on NBC3. We're going to try to raise $30,000 this I year. I can't wait. I know we can get it done.